Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. Uh, up in the morning, uh, making some making some breakfast right now. We're gonna do um, some mushrooms and tomatoes with some eggs. And uh, I don't know, we'll either make a scramble or, um, we have some tortillas actually. We could put them in tor some tortillas if you, Emil, if you'd rather have like a burrito. Uh, I'm Mexican. <laughs> okay. Okay, noted. All right, yep. maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs> Thank you. Breakfast. So we recorded the Pokemon quiz. Oh, that's Ludicolo. <laughs> it's I'm not I'm never, I'm never gonna forget Ludicolo. Ludicolo. That's Ludicolo. <laughs> I got that point right. It went probably about as well as folks would expect. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Uh, Emil wants to get Witch Witch because he doesn't have that at home. So we're going to uh, go grab a sandwich and then we're going to go to the beach because it's such a nice day. It's actually, it's almost too nice of a day because it's like 66. So I'm actually bringing a hoodie <laughs> and it's almost June. It's a little weird, but It'll be nice to get out. We'll meet uh, Dan and Lindsay there. Which hurricane was this? Hurricane Isa, yes. This was the one that hit in like August, early August, that we got in 2020. And that's what happened to the yeah. pier? It, it got the middle of it, and then it also got the end of it. There was like a big fishing platformy two-story thing. So yeah, fear's gone. When you can even see like on the dunes where it's all carved out. Yeah. Um, How much the sand they had through. already renourished it. They added sand, and then Isaiah hit, took it all away. That's why if you look over at a male throwing the cup away, like the sand dune is taller than a male. Yeah. It's actually a pretty nice day for this. I I do wish it was a little warmer. But I don't mind it, and uh, you know, as long as you have a hoodie on, it's not bad. I think it's like, I think it's like 68 degrees, 66 degrees, something like that. But we're just gonna just gonna walk around a little bit. When was the last time you were at the beach? Do you know? Here? Well, just any and yeah, oh, um, any beach. Probably Fourth of July weekend. No, wait. I don't. Know. Last year? No. Are you, I don't know. With me? Were you no, at the beach? Oh, no, okay. No. <laughs> I don't remember last time we were at the beach. I think Mal said that we had maybe. The last went... time we were at the beach together was. Oh, together? I don't know. It was Alex with the mermaid bosoms. Remember, we made him into a mermaid. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay. That was um. Okay, yes, I do recall. That was during uh, one of the Chef Cons. He, he drank a Grapeco. Yeah. I remember, I remember Grapeco. I think it's because that was the and trip then, that then, I learned about Grapeco. Yeah, and then Alex like floundered in the little pool by the... <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. covered himself with a bunch of like sewage water. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You never picked one up? No. Oh wait, really? Uh-huh. Oh. Woo! This is what I've been training for. <laughs> this is why I train every day. It was way less messier than I thought it would be. 15 minutes to save. Money! Not a sponsor. Yeah, the sea turtles follow the swarms of jellyfish because that's what they eat. 
But this is also why turtles eat plastic bags, because a plastic bag in the water looks exactly like a jellyfish. So they just eat them, and then they don't process them, and then they quit eating because their belly is full, and then they get emaciated, and then if they're lucky, they wash ashore, and we take them to Charleston, to the Sea Turtle Hospital, and then we pump their stomachs, and then we help them re rehabilitate, um, or they just die. <laughs> so don't use plastic bags, or make sure that you dispose of them properly. <laughs> It's been a while since I've been to the beach, but that's fun. Over a year. Over a year. Wait, when were we last at the beach? Uh, Do you know? Uh, start of the pandemic, after Sagan died. Oh, so like March or April? Yeah. Oh, I remember. Oh, it was days after, actually. Yeah. It was in, yeah, okay. It was February. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's been a while. It's nice to be back. It's nice to walk. We, uh, we came out of Flair's Choice, because of course we did. Um, but there was a, is this a trade that just came in like for the Today. Race? Today. Today. This morning. Like he wow. drove down. Okay. And, uh, and I got it about three o'clock. So. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted to show this off because you may never see this again. And I, I, I want to make sure that folks see this. This is, um, these are the boxed Mega Man games. These are all complete. You got the ones for Game Boy, for NES. That one. Well, the yeah, five is is just the cart. Um, I I think I actually own that. I think I have the cart of Mega Man Five. Um, these are variants for the boxes. So they have no strip, strip. Look how lazy this is. We're just gonna we're just gonna put a little yellow over that and call it a good. Wow. And then uh, yeah, X and uh, soccer. That's that's quite the that's quite the trade in. Yeah. Look at all the cool things I get here. I never mentioned that we went to Sonic, but we went to Sonic. We got a drink. It was nice. Anyway, um, after Player's Choice, uh, we came back here and um, we had picked up a copy of Ticket to Ride. It's a game we've always liked when we played it with other folks, and we just never owned it. So we owned it now, uh, and everyone wanted to play it. So we just finished the game. We haven't done the scoring yet. Uh, Dan is black. Emil is red. Uh, Lindsay is yellow. Mao is blue and I am green, and we've just and Steven had up. the longest. Uh, we yeah. know that. Yeah, I yeah I think it's but I think it's thirty six. <laughs> we know this. It's uh, thirty six trains got, long. I got fourteen. This we know. Fourteen. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, yeah. So now we got to figure out what the the actual points yeah, are and how the routes and stuff went. And then we finish. You had a with five, a ten. So yep. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Another seven. Dear God. You're gonna break the game. That's it. Okay. She, her, your final score is ninety. Ninety. Dang. Okay. And <laughs> ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Apparently, going for the small change ain't a good strategy. Nah. Well, hold on to your pants, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm excited, Dan. I, I actually beat my two cards pretty early on, and I should have got more cards. But I was just like, I'm going to put some over here. I'm a Black Steven. I'm a do So, like... You were, you were playing spoiler a lot. Yeah. Uh, four. 65. Oh, so close. Yeah, I know. Um... Okay. Right and 10. 10. So your final score 20, 22, is 122. 122. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. I made the train good. I like trains. This game is pretty good. I feel like like a lot of board games, it's very simple to understand though, but you have to like kind of play it a few times to totally get it. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to go for all the small things and you know, that'll add up to a lot. It really didn't. <laughs> Steven's strategy was to get a bunch of cards and then lay a bunch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I only ever had two things. Mine was Denver to Pittsburgh and Portland to Nashville. And I chose them because I thought that I could make them one route. I was like, geez, that's a long route, but it could might maybe work. That's I, why I picked my starting one. So it was like Seattle to Los Angeles and then Portland to yeah. uh, Phoenix. So I could kind of 
cards. And these were kind of higher value cards. Once I realized that I could, I was going to be able to do it and I hadn't had any trouble, I pushed further just a little bit to make sure that I could keep longest road. And and, and I didn't really, like I was trying to like stop you, but like you, you just kept. And at that point. I was like, ha, find find six green. And then like. Then I just started to look on the board for openings of six that I could grab because they're worth so many points. And then I just kept doing that. And then I did it. I really like the way the card system works in this game, where like there's five visible cards, and you can either go blind mm-hmm. or you can pick one of the cards you can see. The thing I like most about this game is that everyone's turn takes five seconds. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah, the best I, part I, of this. Because so yeah. often, like I, I did my turn, I went to the bathroom, like a minute, came back, and it was already my turn again. Like it, because you have so many, you have such limited amount of things you can do on your turn. And you're already thinking about it, so you're just like, "I'll yeah. do this." It's three, that's it. It's one <laughs> yeah. of three actions. It's mm-hmm. yeah, and, and and you can't really think about what cards you you want to pick until because like the the cards get changed up every yeah. Because so, so like I, I like board games. I like playing them with you guys though. But so often in a lot of the board games we like to play, it's like, "Okay, my turn's over. Twenty minutes before I get to do anything else." Yeah, but no. actually, here, the no. longer the longer the game goes on, the shorter the turns get because there's less to do. You're like, yes. "Oh, yeah. I can either do that or that." Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, my last turn I could only pick up cards. I couldn't it's, because yeah, it's very engaging. Neat. I like this game. I'm glad we own it. Me, I won. I like this. Game. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. We made uh, spaghetti. It's Sunday. Mallory, I I've been filming all day. Uh, we made a spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Spaghetti looks really good, actually. I'm, I'm really happy with how the spaghetti turned out. Also, there's garlic bread. And I'm really happy about how the garlic bread turned out. The garlic, the garlic bread is amazing. so good, it must be from the devil. <laughs> Seriously, well, Steven, take a bite and try it. <laughs> of the garlic bread? Yeah. yeah. It looks good. What, this is just some bread we bought at um, Costco. Costco. It was the rosemary parmesan bread. And then Mal Doctor did it all up. With butter and garlic. <laughs> it's so good. Sorry. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's really good, Mal. Wow. This is why he married you. Dang. Yeah, I did the pasta oh, and I did the bread. Fork. Anybody need anything? That turned out really good. Dang. Mm-hmm. I could go for a water. I think I can probably safely end the vlog here. Because we're all going to conk out after this. Also, we're having dinner at 11.30. So, you know. We're going to be asleep. Um, tomorrow should be a good time. We're going to meet up with um, my parents. And have dinner. It's at, what, 3 o'clock? Mm-hmm. If that counts as dinner. Early dinner, late lunch. Uh, over there. And just get a chance to see them. Yeah. All right. I'm falling asleep and I have an entire bowl of pasta to eat. Oh, God. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And let's be back tomorrow. Shall we? I'll feed us in. Shall we? Thanks, Dan. <laughs>